Cat of Smacks, let's share this time with a quick video about this Coke and 4711, uh, what is this, XZ. This is their cross wrench, or essentially a cruciform style lug nut wrench, but of course it can be used with anything It is half inch drive. Coke and did send this to me as a promotional item, but it is without condition. Just because somebody sends me something for free doesn't mean that uh, I will get, give it a good review, although Coke and tools are pretty nice. I just like the fact that they're willing to send something, and if I don't, uh, if I give it a poor review, they're not asking me to do anything other than here's a tool. So I don't see any bias in there. This tool is a little bit uh, interesting, and people might kind of question this. Now, if you buy this retail, it's pretty expensive. It's about 120 bucks, and they give you one lug nut socket of a choice. It's around 100 bucks if you just buy the tool uh, by itself. But that's essentially what this is designed to be, is a lug nut wrench. Put on the lug nut. It has a locking center portion, so you take it, slide it out. You'd break your lug nut, and the handle spins. It actually spins really well. No grittiness or anything like that. It's actually pretty tight. How they even attach it is, well, we'll show that in a second here. Anyway, you extend the handle out, break your lug nut, and then it has a push button lock, so it actually locks in the center, so it can't actually scroll back and forth or slide back and forth without pressing the button. And then you just essentially take it and spin your lug nut out. So this is actually more of a quintessential Japanese item because Obviously, around the world, America and Japan, uh, there are a lot of automotive enthusiasts. One of the things about Japan isn't just modifying the cars, but all the tools that they use, they try to be very special as well. And that's essentially what this is, is this is a very premium uh, lug nut wrench that you keep in your car. It does have an interesting feature, is the fact that obviously it's pretty bulky. So these, ball, these retaining balls are actually ball detents, so you can take this. They do prevent it from sliding all the way out, but you can actually completely remove the handle. And now it's a cross wrench that takes up a whole lot less space. We can see the two, it has two little divots on each side. And what is also interesting, kind of makes it more expensive, is this is oval. This is not round, and that's to make sure it stays aligned. And that actually makes it a bit more expensive because you have this rod that you have to press or manufacture in an oval shape, which is actually more difficult than a round shape. And then we can see in there the ball detent, which is actually a pretty large ball. As far as how the handle's held in, the handle is attached to, you can barely see, a steel block that has a blind hole. So a hole only goes through one side, so it would be difficult to disassemble, but I don't know when you would really need to disassemble it. That's what retains it in the end of this extension essentially and then this where it's been this little uh, recessed area here they actually put it on and then they crush this down in order to attach it just like a speed wrench and that's kind of why what caught me about this is it was like a speed wrench and of course the finish on uh, coke and tools there was always really nice to do lots of nice details like even little slight chamfers or rounding so it's really easy to get the sockets on and off the tool pretty decent ball detent there anyway I thought it was just kind of an interesting type of tool where you have this cross wrench or lug nut wrench uh, that's essentially a real premium version that's the easiest way to do it slide out the handle break your lug nut put it in the middle and then because of the smooth operation you can see that it's actually really quite smooth you can spin the lug nut right off, and then it's a hand tool version. Of course, a lot of people use impacts. But as far as something to keep as a spare in your car, or um, if you're somebody uh, who likes to use a lot of hand tools versus power tools when you work on your vehicles, this thing is a nice touch, especially with the ability just to be able to take and pop that handle out and not have it be so bulky. That's essentially what it is, is a real premium type of automotive accessory. And one thing I was going to say is Koken spends a lot of money. Like, here's the package that came in. This sticker isn't just a paper sticker. It's a metallicized sticker, which is pretty expensive. And actually, this is the first time I've really seen their logo, which is High Performance Tools of Convincing Quality, which I think is interesting. 
Anyway, besides that, Koken did send this to me. They came out with a new catalog. One of the things about Koken is that they had only uh, they they focus on socketry type tools, but that they didn't always have full sets. Whereas, you know, if you wanted every single size, they didn't make them. So that's part of their focus on 2021 is filling out their sets so that there are no skips, which is probably one of the biggest criticisms of Koken is uh, in the past is that they would only make uh, the most common socket sizes, which makes sense. Uh, but it's also frustrating for people who really like to build up tools because uh, there are times when you need the oddball sizes. And if you get you know, a Coke and socket set where you can't even order the uncommon sizes and you have mix, mix mash sets. And I believe it's actually wise for Coke and to now finally start filling out those sets because people really do like having every single socket size. Besides that, not a lot else to say. I think it's an interesting lug nut wrench. It's a uh, certainly a specialty item, something for somebody who really likes their vehicles. Maybe if you have some old, you know, classic car or sports car or something like that this will be a prime candidate to take this get a premium either you know when you order it online you do get to choose uh, a socket or get a you know some type of premium lug nut socket and now you can have a nice tool that's pretty easy to store in your vehicle as well as you know as far as other automotive maintenance obviously it's pretty bulky with the rod in it so it'll be diminishing returns actually it's tempting to use this for other service aspects but there are certain situations where you'll be able to use this i can certainly see in certain uh, industrial applications or even like farm equipment where you actually have a lot of space to work on stuff where something like this would certainly come in handy anyway i really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing and if you haven't subscribed please do until next time catus maximus out <laughs>